Dayallday.com. Adam from NJ. When did I realize basketball is what I wanted to do in life? Probably when I was in like 10th or 11th grade, I knew basketball is what I was going to be doing in life. Ravi18364, there ever any days where you feel lazy, don't feel like being, feel like playing and being competitive? Well, I always feel like being competitive. Are there any days that I don't feel like playing? No, not really. Any days I feel lazy. There are days that my energy isn't as high as other days, but if you're going to take it to the highest levels, it's not always going, you're not always going to feel great. Like you just got to find something within you or outside of you to push you to get through that workout to get to the next level. Because a lot of players, everybody in the world has days where they don't feel great. You know, everyone has those great days. You feel all this energy, you can just do anything. But nobody feels like that every single day of the week. And the difference between the people who are good and the people who are great is that the people who are great find something extra on those lazy days. Or people who are good just they just settle for being okay on those lazy days. So you gotta find something within you if you wanna take it to the next level. GPSS29 asked about if wearing knee pads would make your knee weaker. No, how would knee pads make your knee weaker? Just think about it. No, they don't make your knees weaker. They don't do anything but protect your knee if you were to fall on the floor or bump into somebody else's knees. It's like a football player wears shoulder pads. Does it make them weaker when they wear shoulder pads or knee pads? No, it doesn't. So no, wearing a pad does not make you weaker. You can't judge me. Who or what inspired you to come into basketball? Who inspired me to come in, or what inspired me to come into basketball? Nothing really. I mean, I just gravitated towards it. That's what, in the neighborhood that I came up in, that's what the number one sport was, basketball. Didn't have a lot of other options. I mean, I played a little bit of baseball, a little bit of football, but basketball was the number one thing to do. And I just started playing, and my skills began to develop, and you know, the rest is history. UtahJazz9.com. Who is my favorite basketball player? My favorite basketball player is me. Sammy W13. What is your most inspirational quote or speech that you have heard? I don't have any single one. If you go to my website, dreallday.com on a blog, I post a quote of the day every day. And I only post quotes that I really like. So if you look through my quote of the day, you'll see all the quotes that I like. Do I have any one in particular? No. The point guard 10, thanks for answering my question. You're welcome. Lakers MVP Raider, how do you handle pressure during the last seconds of the game? Well, it's not really pressure if you don't feel pressure. Pressure is something that comes from within. Pressure doesn't come from outside of you, at least not mental pressure. Pressure is just something that you create with inside of you, feeling nervous or whatever about the situation. When I'm late in the game, I don't feel pressure because I'm confident that I can perform just like I do during all the other points of the game. Frank from Tampa. What inspired me to want it so bad, like, to make the NBA? Is it money? Is it love for the game? Is it competition? It's more the competition. It's definitely not the money. The love for the game, yes, but it's more the competition. At the end of the day, to be able to say, you know, I made it to the top of this mountain. I started all the way down here, and I made it to the top of this mountain. And there's only a certain number of people who can ever say they reached this level. That's the number one thing for me. Nachu69, thanks for answering my question. You're, pro you're welcome, Nachu69. Sean Mosley, and he said he ended up with 21 points, 6 rebounds, 5 steals, and 3 blocks in a game last night. Are they good stats? So I guess they're good stats. I mean, I don't know what other stats there were in the game. I would have to watch the game to know if your stat line was good, but it looks like a good stat line to me. I mean, if I did that in the game, I would think that I played pretty well. But, of course, it depends on the circumstances. So you're welcome for... The viz and all that, I'm glad it helped you. But thank yourself, don't thank me. Shawnee Boy 94. Oh, he didn't have a question. All right, Double the Cream. Double the Cream says, What kind of sleeve do you wear and how does it help you? I don't even know what kind of sleeve it is. Probably like McDavid, I believe. Doesn't matter, they're all the same. How does it help you? Now, where the sleeves? These people have, had, have been asking me about the sleeves. So, this is the last question. Let me answer this. The sleeve I wore, I start wearing for two reasons. Either A, is cold in the gym and I want to keep my hands and wrists warm, or B, is very warm and I want to keep the sweat from getting to my hands and the ball slipping out of my hands. 
It was the only reason that I'll be wearing the sleeves. If you see me wearing it, it's one of those two reasons. I don't just wear it all the time for decorations. If the gym is not really warm or really cold, I won't have any sleeves. I won't have anything on my arms at all. Maybe a wristband. That's it. So that's what the sleeve is. It doesn't do anything. The sleeve is like a headband or a shirt. It doesn't make you play any better or worse. So if you want to be good at basketball, work on your fucking game. It don't have nothing to do with any kind of accessory. There are no secrets. There are no magic tricks. Work on your fucking game. Dre Baldwin, next V-Ball, leave your name, leave where you're from, and you'll get your question answered. In the meantime, go work on your fucking game. I mean, I don't know how many times I can say it. Go work on your game. If you're working on your game, you won't be worrying about any secrets or magic tricks or magic potions is going to make you better at basketball because they don't exist. Work on your fucking game. DreAllDay.com I'll bet. Actually, hold on. Let's see. Dre's got the ball. Let's see what he does here. Okay, he's fucking cooking him.